yeah the most negative one put on the left hand side the most positive one put on the right hand side so m is on the left m is the most negative one put it on the left hand side and p is the positive one put it on the right hand side so that is how we draw an electrochemical cell and I'm sure you label it so that you get uh, the three marks now let's go to the next question determine determine the e not value of the electrochemical cell constructed in three above so determining the e not value you say e not is equal to e not reduced minus e not oxidized oxidized yeah or it is right hand side minus left what and side so what is on the right hand side the right hand side is uh, P so what is the value for P the value for P we go back to the question the value for P is positive 3.47 the value for M is negative uh, 2.47 uh, yeah so so let's do it so positive positive 0 0.34 minus negative towards negative 2 point what negative 2.37 so when you sum up you get positive 2 point seven one volts so that is it next question you are asked during electrolysis of aqueous copper two sulfate using copper electrodes a current of 0 0.8 amperes was passed through the cell for 10 hours write a unique equation for the reaction that took place at the cathode Now remember we said during the releases of copper to sulfur using copper electrode at the cathode we have copper you'll go and revise check well at the cathode we have copper ions yeah normally at the cathode you have reduction at the cathode you have reduction copper gaining copper ions gaining electrons so normally ions gain equal number of electrons that is two negative to form copper what copper solid so copper ions are reduced or gaining two electrons to form copper solid the next question you are asked determine the change in mass of the anode 
which occurred as a result of the electrolysis process. Three, three marks. This question is also always three marks. So when asked change in mass, now the formula used here, you say mass, mass is equivalent to Q in bucket IT, IT seconds, yeah, times RAM, yeah, over charge times ninety six five hundred. Yeah. So what is Q? Q is the quantity of electricity which is current times time in seconds. Yeah. So what is the uh, uh, the current. So current we are told we are told the question that during the electrolysis of aqueous copper two sulfate using copper copper electrodes a current of 0 0.8 amperes so current is 0 0.8 was passed through electro was passed through the cell for 10 hours so it is 8 amperes a current of 8 amperes so you take 8 uh, A current of 0 0.8 amperes sorry so you take 0 0.8 sorry 0 0.8 times time in seconds so time is 10 hours 10 hours you change into seconds you multiply times 60 to change into minutes then times 60 to change into seconds times the RAM, RAM of copper we are given to be 63.5 over charge. The charge of copper is 2 yeah, times 96,500, which is the Fridays. 96,500 is given. So when you calculate this, what do you get? Uh, you key in this on a calculator. So you get nine point four seven six grams. You get your three marks.